the Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. So Michael Jordan. In 1984, Michael Jordan was drafted to the Chicago Bulls' third overall pick. Michael Jordan is a Hall of Fame basketball player for the Chicago Bulls, who won six NBA championships. His deal with Nike started in 1984 will completely revolutionize the shoe industry and help create a modern idea of the brand. Most shoe companies at the time wanted to sponsor the young rookie Michael Jordan, but were hesitant to invest in him because he was new. Then Nike gave Michael Jordan $7 million over the first five years. In 1985, Nike made the Air Jordan 1, which were black and red. Each time that Jordan wore the shoes, he was fined $5,000 because those were not the Bulls team's colors that he was meant to wear. Our topic is related to Chicago because Michael Jordan was drafted to the Chicago Bulls. When Jordan joined Nike, 8% of the NBA was with them. When Jordan retired, 48% of the NBA was with Nike. Jordan had a streak of 632 games without losing three straight games, most by any player. Jordan's combination of 10 scoring titles, 5 league MVPs, 6 final MVPs will never be matched. The first piece of evidence on how Michael Jordan changed the marketing of sports is the difference between when he joined the league and left the league. Before Jordan, big stars like Larry Bird and Magic Johnson were with Converse and Adidas. At the time, Nike was nothing compared to other basketball shoe brands at the top. Like you heard before, Nike had 8% of the league, but when MJ retired, almost half of the league was with Nike. Another thing Michael Jordan did was changing the focus of advertisements from the product to the athlete. For example, in Nike's first commercial to the Nike commercial, Let Your Game Speak, you can see how it has changed. In the first Nike commercial, it really only showed the shoe or the product, but in the other commercial, you can see the difference. They show the product, but with the athlete as the main picture. Another example is a Nike shoe called Yankee and Jordan's Gatorade collab. They both are posters, but they are different. First, you, can, you only see the shoe, but in the second poster, you see the athlete as the main picture. Michael Jordan has been very influential, not just with basketball, but with other sports like soccer. The Jordan company has made products with people like Neymar Jr. and PSG to expand the Nike's group of its partnership to make it a more profitable company. After Nike's deal with Jordan, he started making shoes. His shoes ended up being a huge hit, especially because Michael Jordan was with so many people that wanted to have a collab. The biggest collab with Michael Jordan is probably with Virgil Abloh. Virgil Abloh is a high-end designer that collabed with Michael Jordan. Levi also had a collab with Michael Jordan, probably not the biggest collab, but still a huge hit. Pairing the old and classic Air Jordan with Levi was a hit to sneaker fans. Not only was there shoes, but there was a trucker reversible jacket. Another collab was with Gatorade. It was also a huge hit. It came with four shoes. Many shoe collectors were astonished by the shoes. All of these collabs show how Michael Jordan changed everything, not just the marketing of sports. Even after Michael Jordan retired, he still had an influence on other people. The Jordan Brands makes an average revenue of $1 billion. Michael Jordan himself is a billionaire and a big face of Nike. He also is a role model to many people, and he's a perfect public figure, and he has never been accused of crime. Jordan is an inspiration to a lot of people and always will be. When Nike partnered with Jordan, they did not know the huge effect that it would have on the world. Jordan is a household name now. He definitely changed the marketing of sports forever. From changing the focus of advertisements, from the product to the athlete to changing the NBA. Michael Jordan is not only the greatest player of all time, but helped make the current idea of having a brand. Watching Michael play, my generation you know, saw the highlights and they saw a lot of the fancy stuff. What I saw was his footwork. I saw the spacing, I saw the timing, I saw the fundamentals of the game. He certainly has a lot of skills, and you see that, and he's got a lot of confidence. If you think LeBron is better than Jordan... Stop it. Get some help.